So we're particularly interested in how can we use a wearable self-monitoring technologies like the Fitbit, okay? A wearable sensors that this is the Fitbit, it counts your steps, okay? Uh, and also well, the sensors that are embedded on our smartphones, okay? But also we think that uh, we, or we are very interested in the play that emerges from using this, uh, this kind of devices, okay? And we think that a lot of, uh, that motivation can emerge from, uh, from, from the play experience, okay? So that's how we want to uh, uh, promote a less sedentary lifestyle, okay? Using play and software, uh, wearable technology, okay? cha -cha! This is it, okay? So if we think about sedentary time, uh, well, our workspace is like the, yeah, it's where we spend sitting the whole day. So we uh, figure out a project that uh, tackles this problem, okay? The sedentary time that we spend in our workspace, okay? Uh, so we want to promote a less sedentary lifestyle, but um, in collocated, uh, in collocated uh, groups of people, okay? Uh, like in offices, that kind of thing, okay? There's some related work, uh, about uh, promoting uh, uh, physical activity in collocated groups, uh, but they usually use uh, I don't know um, uh, anonymous uh, information displayed in, uh, publicly, you know, but anonymous taking care about privacy a lot, or also they focus on the personal representation of physical activity, okay, like in Breakaway, or uh, there is some like a Facebook app, okay, that uh, shows the number of steps of each person of one office, yeah, okay, but you have to go into Facebook, login, that kind of thing. So we uh, took a different approach and we designed a public display, okay, uh, showing physical activity of the people in our own lab because we wanted to uh, increase our own physical activity, okay. So this is what your steps, it's a 46 inches display uh, that shows, uh, well, the accumulated number of steps at each point of the day, so you have the time the bottom, okay, and you have the, each player is aligned, okay, and you have each player then reflected in this display, okay. Uh, and we also have the 10K guy that is a fictional character that walks uh, a, context, con a constant speed throughout the day, okay, so he's walking, 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 and he, uh, made, uh, he makes 10,000 steps at the end of the day, so it's like a reference, okay. So the, the, the line that is there in the diagonal is the, the reference that like an ideal reference, okay? How this works? Uh, well, we have people in uh, workspace using uh, wearing Fitbits, okay? So they synchronize with Fitbit.com every, I don't know, two or five minutes, okay? We uh, get the data from each uh, player every 15 minutes and we reflect that into the display, okay? And this is how it looks uh, in our lab, okay? And well, we made a prototype of this, uh, and we studied this uh, uh, during 22 weeks with 10 participants between 22 and 44 years old. Uh, we used some structure interviews in order to get uh, the insights from players and their a sense of their experience. And we also uh, used autobiographical design uh, because we also wanted to. Uh, be part of the, this experience and understand what happened while using this uh, kind of display. So both researchers, we were part of this uh, study too. Okay, we were there as participants, or observants. You know, uh, every day uh, with the display there, there. Okay. So I'm gonna show three outcomes from this research. Uh, one is uh, quantitative results, just uh, uh, overall uh, view. Okay, and some general findings and uh, some design things. So about the results, quantitative results, if we, if we look at the number of steps of the people in the lab uh, before putting the display, just wearing Fitbit, and then with the display on, we note an, uh, an increased number of physical, physical activity, okay? This is not statistically significant because it's, we're talking about 10 players and we're talking about researchers in those 10 players, so we are, with this, we're just showing that we have more steps than before, that's, that's all, and so it's working for us, okay? And then we turn off the display and we have a, a decrease in, in our physical activity, but, it's, but we are better than uh, if we compare with the beginning, okay? So this is a good result for, for, us, for us, and we need more evidence uh, in order to support this uh, more strongly, okay? 
Secondly, uh, some general findings. Uh, we can see that this has been a motivation uh, for, for all the people in the lab in order to, to be part, to start using a Fitbit and to, to use it frequently, okay? Uh, before having the display, uh, people were more reluctant, more like, yeah, yeah, maybe I will use it. When we turn on the display, people were like, oh, I want to be part of this. Where is my Fitbit? Um, so that's good. Um, also, we, we saw in almost all the participants uh, this sense of competition, but not, not in a serious way. So all the players were really focused on who was the leader of, the, of this uh, representation, okay? So like the first thing, oh, who is, who is the first, okay? But then nobody had any bad feelings about this. It was just fun, you know, and yeah, nobody uh, reports something bad from it. But we can sense this competition uh, is strong in this kind of representation. And we also saw this uh, replay effect and speculation. There is, uh, each line tells a story, you know, so you can tell, oh, I was sitting for this long, uh, this long, and when we went to have lunch, oh, look the amount of the steps. So you can build your, his, your story backwards, uh, okay? Uh, and that's interesting because if people were not in the lab, people um, sometimes said like, oh, look, this person, look the amount of steps that she or he made in the morning, you know, and maybe she went out jogging, that kind of thing, that kind of speculation. So that's interesting. Um, some things that maybe are not that obvious. Um, the first one is the appropriation for productivity. So here we have uh, Gina, that is a member from our lab, and let's hear what she's gonna say. So I also see if I've been working well or if I had a very interrupted day. Actually, a flat line of inactivity, inactivity, no steps, is quite good. So we're getting exactly the opposite that we wanted, okay? Putting the display. People tracking their productivity. The uh, amount of, uh, of time sitting was good for one of the participants. And, and this, uh, uh, this thing, uh, uh, we, we, we got something similar from three participants. So this is something that we need to deal with, okay, in order to not uh, gain uh, bad results, okay? For, so, but we think there's an opportunity here because this uh, Gina is engaged with this display, okay? So how can we use this in order to get uh, people engaged but uh, make it them more active? So a uh, second thing is that display location can be a trigger of additional physical activity, okay? So here we have a chat that is sitting there and let's see how he is saying, I stand up and see how it's all going. So in order to interact with the display, Chad had to stand up and that's good, you know, that's good. That's better than being sitting. So if you break a period of one hour sitting with one stand up in the middle, that's great. It's great for our health, okay? We are breaking the, this sedentary time, okay? So this is good. And uh, so the display triggered this additional uh, physical activity. And the final theme is uh, the ambiguity of inactivity. And uh, let's see what Helmut has to say about it. I don't fully trust the display. Sometimes the data shows that I'm sedentary and this is not true. Uh, and this is about when you have serious steps, that could mean different stuff, okay? That, that uh, can actually mean that the, the user was sitting, okay? But also uh, can, mean, uh, can mean that the user let his Fitbit on top of the desk, or maybe he, he was swimming, okay? So we don't know. If we have serious steps, we don't know really uh, what's the situation, okay? And that ambiguity can lead to some, uh, I don't know, problems, okay, for users. So that's it. We want to highlight the opportunity of using this kind of uh, technology that are, are usually used personally, but augmented this in a social setting uh, in order to get some play and fun, okay? Thank you very much.